Oh, are you serious, Jeff Burton? Alright, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Fiasco, and welcome back to some more NASCAR Thunder 2003. Now, I don't even want to talk about what happened last episode, man. If you want to go back to the last episode and watch my misery, you can feel free to go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to talk about that here. What we're going to do is that we're going to go over to team, go over to pit crew, and we're going to look for our front tire changer. He's made so many damn mistakes. He's made, he's messed up like three times, and it's only been like 10 races. So he has like a, almost a 33 percentage fuck up rate. And here's the thing. I don't know how much potential he has because I totally forgot. And it doesn't tell me how much potential he has, but it tells me he's happy. He's 56 overall, so he's just as likely to mess up as everybody else, but he's been the only one messing up this whole time, so... You know what? I'm gonna give him one last shot. If he messes up in this episode, I'm gonna let him go. If he doesn't mess up this episode, I'll hang on to him for a little bit longer, you know? I'll give him, like, a little bit of a grace period, because you know what? He's been on the hot seat for a little bit. Oh, uh, we gotta give him a little bit less pressure. Now, you guys might have noticed that we're sitting at $32,000 in the bank account. It's because I put in money into engine power. So, hopefully, we won't be as slow in nine races. I would have liked to put more money into this so we could get it faster, but honestly, this was all we could do. So, I don't know what to tell you. You know, when it comes to this game, you gotta spend money to make money. It looks like we're gonna be pretty damn trash for at least the next nine races. And you know what? It's just something we gotta deal with. We're probably going to be garbage for like the first two seasons, and then we might be competitive in the third. Hopefully we can get some good results along the way, but we'll see. Looking at the standings, we're still at 41st in the point standings. You look up top, it's Dale Jr. ahead of Tony Stewart at 109 points, and then everybody else is kind of just falling in line behind him. But for now, we have our next race, and it is at Richmond. Oh my god, this thing is tighter than a motherfucker, bro. This is not gonna be pretty race. So qualifying wasn't that bad. We actually got 33rd, which isn't bad, but, you know, with our tire wear and our tire grip and our lack of engine power... Are we gonna finish up there? Probably not, but we'll see what happens. Pontiac excitement 400 at Richmond. Let's get it. Welcome to Richmond, Virginia, the site of the action for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. Here on MRN, Richmond offers a little something for everyone, doesn't it, Barney? Richmond is a great racetrack. It's always fun to come here. We should see some close racing, so anything can happen here. This is a much-needed break for John Andretti. I could tell by the look on his face this morning how happy he was. I didn't even have to ask. Great to see him starting up front for a change. The Sears Craftsman car really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Jeff Purvis is having some trouble in the points this year. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. All right, fellas, let's get it. Kevin Harvick is on pole for the Pontiac Excitement 400 at Richmond. Hopefully we can keep this thing out of trouble and maybe get a decent race out of it. I think everybody checks up going into turn one here. Actually, no, they don't because I forgot that I put the sliders all the way up this time. So, yeah, this is going to be as literally as hard as it can be. Now, come to think of it, I really should have loosened up the car before I started this race. But you know what? We'll, we'll do it in the pits. We'll do it live. All right, we're making up some spots. We're not doing too bad right now. Oh, we just got to keep it out of the wall, keep the damage to a minimum so we don't lose any speed. But oh, we're somehow keeping Bobby Labonte behind us, so that is extremely surprising. I got to be especially careful out of turn two. I'm just going to let Bobby by because I know his AI is going to get by eventually. I want to be especially careful coming out of turn two because that, you know, that wall on exit really sneaks up on you. And I remember hitting that wall so many times as a kid, you know, this... Richmond was one of the tracks where I blew up the most at because I just kept hitting the turn two wall. I'm honestly proud that we're holding on to 33rd right now considering that our, uh, our parts aren't even in top condition right now. It's nice to see, it's really nice to see. I really need a good finish here, man. We're only sitting on $32,000 in the account. Like, we could really use some a good payday right now. 
God, this thing is so tight, bro. It doesn't want to turn until it gets to, like, 88 miles per hour back to the future type shit. You know, the moment you go to the outside, bro, you lose four spots. It's ridiculous. Oh, are you serious, Jeff Burton? Bro, I am about to kick your ever-loving ass in the infield, bro. Are you serious with that? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh my god, I'm about to ruin your life. I am about to ruin your life. I am so mad. I am so heated, bro. You know what? I've been, like, slightly upset during this career mode. Now I'm just mad, bro. I cannot believe he just did that to me. Oh my god. I have really just got dumped by Jeff Burton for 37th. For 37th. I got dumped by Jeff Burton, and, our, and my tires are already worn, and I'm already a lap down on lap 11 of a 40-lap race. Thank you, Jeff. Very cool. Appreciate it. It's all fun and games until I send you a really angry tweet, Jeff. No, don't, no. Bill, do not. I am not in a good mood right now. You do not want to touch me. Like, dude, is there something wrong with the car? Is there something wrong with the car? What do you think, bro? What do you think? We just got dumped by Jeff Burton. We have in we have damage all over the rear of the car. Our tires are worn because our, you know, our tire wear sucks. Is there, is there something wrong with the car? What do you think? Honestly. Oh my god, I am on the verge of wanting to curb stomp the driver of the 99, bro. On god. On ja. Oh, and he blew up! And he blew up! <laughs> Instant karma, you fucking bitch. Get out of here. Get off of my track. That's what you get. You see, that makes me feel a little bit better, because you know what? Even if we finish, like, dead last on the track, it makes me uh, so much happier that we will at least finish ahead of Jeff Burton. Jesus Christ, Tony, I, I would let you by, you just gotta ask. Oops, sorry, Dale, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm not mad at you. Alright, I'm putting this time by, and I am loosening the fuck out of this car. I cannot believe that Jeff Burton just bodied us like that. That's that's so disrespectful, bro. Why would you do that? For 37th. For, for 37th, why? Like, bro, when this car is finally competitive, the number one person that I am going to go after is Jeff Burton. We hate Jeff Burton in this house. All right, front tire changer. Uh, I'm in a bad mood now, so if you really mess up, bro, your your life about to be over. All right, clean stop. You know, you know what? After everything that's happened so far, we absolutely needed a clean stop right there. All right, car's feeling better after taking out you know one and a half turns of wedge on it. I don't know why. You know, the default setup came with 1.5 turns on the wedge. But I hate how tight they make these setups when you first get them. I gotta start checking the setups, you know, for something other than the transmission whenever I get in these cars. Because every single time I race these, they're tight as balls. See, it feels so much better. If I would have had this adjustment in the beginning of the race, we probably wouldn't have gotten in that position. And I wouldn't want to kill Jeff Burton right now. But honestly, man, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't be mad if, like, if this game had, like, an only fans feature. To where, like, I can just get free money to put into the car just by posting feet pics or some shit. Because that would be, like, really, really helpful at this point of the career. Actually, you know what? Fuck the OnlyFans feature. I want a hot tub streamer feature. You know, bro, just let me make money just by sitting in a hot tub on Twitch. There we go. And then put millions of dollars into the car. Alright. So, um, after we got absolutely dumped by Jeff Burton for... 37th place, might I add. Have I mentioned that it's 37th place? It was for 37th place that he dumped us for. And there was no caution, by the way. Uh, we wound up getting 41st. It was literally just a race of us just getting passed by everybody that was faster than us. This was not very fun at all. I hate it here. A lot. Okay, so, you, you know, I'm just doing typical YouTube shit. Just trying to, you know, take screenshots for my thumbnails and all that. Where are my tires? Did you... Did you <laughs> Where where are my tires? What? I I ain't never seen that before in this game, but you know what, man? Whatever. It makes a lot more sense about our performance now. All right, we got to 139k off of that. We beat Jeff Burton, and that's all that matters. 
Uh, shout out to Kevin Harvick for another dub. Good for you. We're, we're pretty broke right now, so you know what? We're at the point where I'm not going to repair or overhaul anything. Uh, the next race we have is going to be the All-Star Open. Uh, we will do that and then call it quits for this episode, and then the next episode we'll go ahead and do the Coca-Cola 600 and whatever races after that. Uh, we're going to use this new equipment for the All-Star Open because of this being an exhibition race, uh, this doesn't count towards the usage of our equipment. So, you know, even after this race, everything will still be 100% condition after this. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Mecca of Motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway. The drivers are ready, the fans are ready, and MRN is ready to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of all the action. Barney, this is a hometown crowd for a lot of these drivers. About 80% of the teams are based in this area, and these fans are serious about their racing. Add to that an amazing facility with great seats all around and 43 NASCAR Winston Cup cars. We're in for an awesome race, I guarantee you that. Jeremy Mayfield experienced an up and down year in 2000. He had 12 top 10s and four poles, but also had 11 DNFs. He was either running up front with the leaders or taking an early exit. Those wins are great, but each DNF is exactly the opposite and can take a driver out of a points race real quick. All right, baby, let's do it. All-Star open as a qualifier. Only the winner advances to the All-Star. Chances are we're not going to advance, but you know what? I'm going to do my best and just fucking send it, because why not, bro? Full send or no send, you know the motto. So we're starting way in the back for this All-Star open. Hopefully we'll be able to, you know, maybe gain some, you know, confidence for when we head over to the Coca-Cola 600 next weekend. Now, I remember Lowe's always being a track that I was really good at as a kid, but you know what, that was back when I didn't really race at a difficulty like this. Oh, 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 I do not want to take myself out of contention this quickly. Oh my god, I am sorry, Jerry Nadu. Alright, come on. Let's make some moves. We only got seven laps. There we go. Oh, this feels nice. Oh man, when the car is at 100% condition, it, it really does feel nice. And I'm saying that as somebody who's only put like two upgrades in the car. Oh, Jeff Purvis is loaded in this shit. Give me those free spots, baby. Give me that. <laughs> oh, we're sliding up into the wall. I am not about to pull a Jeff Purvis. Get me out of the wall. I. I kind of pulled a Jeff Purvis, but you know what? I didn't completely take myself out like he did. Eh, here's Purvis. He heard me talking shit about him, so you know I gotta block him. Oh, we're up in the middle. There goes Purvis. What a freak. I'm sorry, Jeff Green. You know, even though we're not, like, competitive here, at least we made some moves. At least we made some passes. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm sliding up onto the track and all that. Oh, somebody blew up. We're probably going to finish 15th if none of these guys behind us pass me. If I can hold the bottom, I'm fine. But here's the thing. Sometimes the car just doesn't want to stick on the bottom. It just wants to go straight up into the wall. But for some reason, it's, like, magnetized. Damn. I thought I was going to get a top 15 in a field where nobody's competitive. <laughs> I really did thought. Yo, shout out to Jeff Green all of a sudden remembering which pedal is the gas and passing two cars on the last lap, but it doesn't matter anymore. Alright, uh, we started 23rd, got P16 in the All-Star Open, so you know what? That's gotta count for something, right? You know, at least we're gonna get a little bit of confidence going into the Coca-Cola 600 the next episode. Alright boys, that is going to do it for this episode. Sorry it was a little bit shorter, I didn't expect the All-Star Race to come up so quickly. But on the bright side, the next race, we have a really long one. It's going to be the Coca-Cola 600, followed by a 40 lap race at Dover. So we got two 40 lap races in this next episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more content like this. Follow me on Twitch if you guys want to go ahead and see me stream whenever I do something like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. I don't really know what's going down, but I try.